Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So now I want to talk about blogging and social media and how we kind of get into this swing of we got to create more social media, we have to be on LinkedIn, we have to be on Facebook, we have to be on Instagram, we have to do Pinterest. And um, I tend to have conversations with my marketing bestie, and we talk a lot about this because we don't like the same things. Um, we both don't like Facebook, but she loves Instagram. And she does e-commerce. Um, she sells on a Shopify site that goes to an eBay site, and she did really well um, over the holiday season. And she was like, it's all from Instagram. You need to be doing Instagram. So last month, I did a bunch of Instagram, and wah, 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 I got nothing. I mean, nobody came to my website. Nobody looked at an Instagram pin and then went up to my link and then clicked to my website to try to find that pin. It's ridiculous. Now, I know there's swipe up. There's all kinds of things you can do. But a lot of those require quite a bit of work or a lot of followers to be able to do. So for me, it isn't my favorite thing. Now, I wanted to just go over some ways that you can kind of find out what is your favorite thing or what should be your favorite thing because it's working for you. And I just want to address real quick that it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Like I do way better on Pinterest because I put in way more time on Pinterest than I do on Facebook. But I do want to show you my numbers so that you can see that that varies greatly even within a person, right? Okay, so one of the fun things I do is on my um, oh, that's just today. Hold on. Let's do the last 30 days. Uh, one of the fun things I like to do on my dashboard when you get right into Google, Google Analytics is to take a peek and I have the source of medium. And so I have, you know, Google does, Pinterest does, Bing, little baby Bing is in there. He's got a little slice. Um, and then direct, which is going to be my email marketing efforts and then Pinterest. So there's two Pinterest, three Pinterest, two Pinterest. Um, but the other thing I like to track is my sessions, new sessions by source. So I had 6,000 sessions last year on Pinterest, or last month on Pinterest. And I will tell you, this is my worst time of the year. That covered the end of December of last year. And as a marketing blogger, as a business blogger, um, my stuff just dies. So it's not so much... It, it really isn't so much knowing a number, it's knowing throughout the year what your numbers should be. So if I was just looking at things blatantly and I looked in October and I saw I had almost 10,000 and then I looked in December and I had 6,000, I would be freaking out, but I know that happens every year. So those are just things to know about your business. All right, so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to show a, a way you can look at this. So if you do acquisition, all traffic, source medium over there, then you can find them. And if you do this, you can see what percentages of your traffic. So I had 48,000 hits last month and then the, the last rolling 30 days. And then 6,000 of them came from Pinterest. But that isn't exactly true because if you type Pinterest up here in this search bar, it'll pull all the weird little Pinterest sites. And so I had closer to 7,500, 8,000, then I really did 6,000. So that's exciting. Um, and this can just give you an overview of say, let's say Facebook, right? Facebook, I just wanna know how many that I have. And I understand that you can do this in um, the, the tools in Facebook or the tools in Pinterest or the tools everywhere. But what you can't do is you can't say, okay, I wanna know what happened December 1st through December 31st last year, right? So now I want to know what happened last year. And we can apply this and we can say, okay, so this is what I had last year, um, Facebook 880. And then this year, so let's see what happened. So we have 880 was last year. And then this year is, I'm just making sure. <laughs> no, see, it did it for the whole year. I was like, I do not think that number is 9,000. That's okay. So 880 was our number. So you got to watch that when you get excited. 
And so 770 was my number this year. So it went down a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to turn away, you know, any kind of traffic. But when you look at the difference between my numbers for Pinterest and my numbers for Facebook, I don't really want to put much time into um, the other social media networks. I may do some random posting. I may do a little chatty chat. But that's not where my time is going to be spent. Now, for you, it could be that Facebook drives a bazillion traffics. And then in that case, you want to make sure that you're doing all your time on there. So now let's look at, oh, this is so fun. So if you go to referrals, if you go to acquisition, all traffic referrals, and you type in pin, and you go to Pinterest. So where you'll come out is here. You'll have this. I put in Pinterest, right? So I typed Pinterest. You'll see all of them. But then if you click on Pinterest, and I want Pinterest United States because I'm in the United States. Say you're in England, you would want England. Okay. Now you can see which pin it was. Now the top one is always just Pinterest. But my best realtor marketing posts, kicking butt, 30,000 impressions, 290 saves, 1,100 11, clicks. Yay me. Um, and then this one is lower, right? Then I have a big drop. Same one, different person pinned it. Yay me. Um, but would I like that to be spread out of more of my content? Absolutely. Now, you can do the same thing with Facebook. So if you go to um, Source Medium and you do Facebook, this will be in a blog post. I'll put a link to it. But Source Medium, Facebook. And then on this one, because of how they do it, you have to do secondary dimension, type 4, uh, path level, page path level 4. And then it will give you the uh, URL of what you link to, right? So that's really cool. I love that so much because I know that I can see this in Facebook, but I want, I want to see it over time. I want to see it in different months. I want to see all these things. So knowing how to find this data in Google Analytics is amazing. You may be thinking, why does Pinterest have amazing ones and Facebook doesn't? It's because of how they save their pins versus how Facebook chose theirs. All right, so now I want to show you something really, really, really amazingly sad that you want to check with your own social media efforts. So this is my last year. January, oh, hold on. It's going to get better because my last year was better. Okay. So my last year with acquisition, all traffic referrals, and then doing Pinterest, I started um, Tailwind Active Looping here. It's worth it. Everybody asks. Um, and then I just had a little period of time where I didn't have my tracking on. My site wasn't down or anything. Um, just have a little goober in there where I didn't... Uh, Hold on. Let's get this right. Apply. There you go. That's where I forgot to put my tracking in. But see how you can see how it's going up? Okay. So Pinterest last year, because I put my Pinterest in, I had 55,000 hits to my website, which is great. It's not coming close to my Google traffic. But if I'm going to be spending time doing marketing with social media, I want to make sure that I'm at least getting something. Now, I would like to show you something incredibly horrible. So I have nine here. I have 19,000, 18,000, 19,500 followers on Twitter. So I do not have a tiny Twitter account, right? So I checked my last year's stats for Twitter. January 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2018. How many think I have? Take a guess. 1,500. Let me do it again. No, 108. So every bit of work I did on Twitter. Now, granted, my work is sliding it into later, sliding it into, um, I was using Meet Edgar at the time. But I had that library thing set up, so I was posting to 
Twitter three times a day, something like that. Um, so literally, I got less than a click every three days on Twitter. Now, that's not to say that you can't do amazing on Twitter, that you aren't getting thousands of clicks a month from Twitter, that it isn't your niche, or LinkedIn, or Snapchat. Like, it doesn't matter where your traffic is coming from. You really need to take a peek and see, because I was shocked and not amazed in the good way when I realized that literally I got 108 hits on my website from Twitter last year. So hopefully this helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.